This is Joe, a primary school student. He struggles a bit with handwriting. In fact, he's the worst in his class. So at school, he can get self-conscious and not want to practice. If Joe's given the opportunity to teach someone else instead though, then he gets to learn in a different way, through learning by teaching. And this might just help him catch back up to his classmates. Most students would be able to teach their friends. But if Joe's the worst in his class, then the question becomes, who can Joe teach? At the Computer Human Interaction for Learning and Instruction Lab at EPFL, we've developed the first robot which children can teach how to write. During the interaction, the robot writes a word that the child requests, and then the child can correct the robot's letters by providing demonstration on a tablet. In this sense, the child is engaged in learning by teaching, and by playing the role of the teacher, they learn through a reflection about the robot's mistakes, instead of just always having someone correcting the mistakes that they make like they're used to. A common theme throughout learning by teaching is that the teacher then becomes invested in the student's learning and you see increases in motivation and engagement as a result. The children are also practicing handwriting without even realizing and finally hopefully they can recover some self-esteem by realizing that they actually do know enough to teach someone. There are quite a few technical challenges which we've had to address in order to develop the system and one of the main ones comes with getting the robot to write. The NOW robot has been made to be commercially affordable, so there are some trade-offs in terms of the fine motor skills which it's able to achieve. So even using the whole range of motion that's possible for the robot is still not able to execute smooth trajectories while holding a pen tip. We still think though that the complex movements of the robot are important in the interaction in terms of engaging the child and so this is something that we want to maintain as one of the interaction features and because of that we have made a particular effort to make it so that the robot can engage in simulated handwriting instead. It's then just a matter of determining what the robot is to write which is where the learning algorithm comes in. From looking at a data set of letters written by different people, you can mathematically determine the different features in the way that they write. And so then we can vary these features to make a range of shapes. For example, we can change the loop width here, or the size of the tail there. And so then it's a simple task to create some bad letters which will be the starting point for the robot's learning algorithm. So how can the system improve then? The same model that was used to generate bad letters can also be used when the child makes a demonstration to determine what proportion of the features their letter has and thus teaching the system how to better write. So if the child is teaching the robot cow, for example, it will start badly and then based on the demonstrations that it receives from the child, the system will then move towards the features that it sees in the child's letters. We've tested the interaction system with children aged six to eight at different schools in the Geneva area with the objectives of validating if children would believe that the robot was really writing, improving, and that they were the ones who were teaching it. We got clear yeses for these, but there are a lot more questions that we're on our way towards answering. Is it possible to engage children for the many sessions necessary in handwriting interventions with the robot learning fast enough to be rewarding, but not so fast that it outserves its purpose? How acceptable to a broader audience of teachers is such a technology? And ultimately, how we can actually show that this has the potential to help children with handwriting difficulties to improve their motivation, self-esteem, and educational future. So, who can Joe teach? Well, why not a robot which is not just a simple tool and not a replacement for teachers, but rather a partner in learning? We believe that there's a new role for robotics in education being created and that the co-writer project is just the beginning. <laughs>